Hello YouTube money makers. My name is Steve and welcome to my channel. Uh, more importantly, welcome to my home. Now I just want to get one thing out of the way. Today is my birthday, so give me a like. That'd be a nice present. Wish me happy birthday in the comments. And stick around to the end of this video because you're going to want to find out about the birthday gift that I got. We purchased this house back in 2007 for the grand price of $250,000. But now, in 2021, where the average price for a single family home in our region is over $700,000. That means in the time its value has gone up by $350,000. That's an increase of $25,000 a year. So when you look at the original price of the home, $250,000, that's a 10% increase in value. We made, as a family, a decision early on that we wanted to pay down our mortgage as quickly as possible. When we had extra money, we would do these double up payments to do everything we can to get the principal down and the interest payments down. That idea has been flipped completely on its head after learning about passive income and dividend investing. So I've decided to take a look, am I better off putting the extra money towards the mortgage or am I better off actually putting money towards some dividend investing? How do I make the decision? Well, I made a spreadsheet. And since it's April and it's still a little chilly out here, let's go inside and take a look. Ooh, it's getting cold out there. Okay, so let's go downstairs into the basement where my computer's set up and take a look. So this is my Google Sheet. Top section shows everything that goes into a mortgage payment. Middle section shows the actual payments that you'd be paying. And the last section is if you have this amount left over and you want to put it somewhere, do it. And indicating the average yield for the dividends would be roughly 4%. So I've got two other tabs in the spreadsheet that kind of do those calculations. One with extra payments, one without extra payments, because we want to see you know, what is that interest difference? So let's actually take a look and see what that would be. So it ends up being the difference between topping things up or not topping things up only $2,500. And what's that $2,500 gets you? Basically 26 months off your mortgage. While that may sound great, what we really want to look at is, okay, what would happen if I put that $200 towards investing instead? So let's take a look at that. So this is looking at over seven years. It's making some assumptions like that you would get paid that annual dividend yield um, at the end of the year. It ends up at the end of seven years, you make $4,368. So to remind you, the mortgage interest you're saving is only $2,559. So clearly putting that $200 in an investment account pays you more especially since at the end of that seven years, you're sitting on $36,000. So this is a no brainer to me. This is what I'm actually adopted. So this is the birthday gift to myself now. Going over into Wealth Simple Trade now, we're going to spend the $200 that I just put in into Brookfield Renewable Partners. I've already invested in them before, so this will be another investment and it's actually going to help average down my overall cost. So I'm just going to quickly kind of go through the buying process real quickly. And do, 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 And there you go. We have purchased some additional stocks for the $200. We're going to do that every two weeks. We're going to diversify it and watch things grow. Um, it was that simple. That's how you buy some stocks and wealth simple trade referral link in the description uh, check it out so bottom line in seven years i'm gonna be able to throw myself quite the birthday bash and you're all invited so stick around for that you know hit subscribe click on the bell um happy birthday to me and thanks for joining me take care